Hi, in this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to move a clip from Premiere to After Effects and then how to send it back to Premiere. It's pretty simple. It's uh, pretty uh, nicely set up so it can do what's called round tripping or dynamic linking. And this works quite easily. You can simply send a clip over to After Effects by, first of all, right clicking on it. And I'm going to Alt or Option right click on this clip here. So it just selects the clip and not the audio that belongs to it. So I'm just going to send the video over to After Effects. And you can simply hit Replace with After Effects Composition. I'll show you a couple options with this. First of all, when you right click and do Replace with it After Effects Composition, it will load After Effects. And then once After Effects is loaded, it will ask you how you want to save this project. I'm going to go save as, I'm just going to say temp, because I'm just doing this as a temp file here, and save. And now in After Effects, you'll see that this clip from Premiere has been loaded into After Effects from its in point and out point that's been selected from Premiere. And if you go back to Premiere, you'll notice in Premiere, the Premiere clip has been replaced with this kind of pinkish clip here, which is a which is now called an After Effects composition. And you will see the After Effects composition down here. It names it as uh, this name of the project, test link comp number one, and sent to my temp After Effects file right here. But it created this composition inside of this After Effects project. This After Effects project is called temp AEP, which is the After Effects project. And it has named this as a composition. Keep in mind, you can do several compositions per project. And this is a project file right here. This temp is, a, is a, an After Effects project. And now with the dynamic link functionality in Premiere, whatever you change in After Effects, let me move back to After Effects, whatever I change on this video here will be updated in Premiere. Let's just do a simple scale. The bit, keep in mind this is not a full on After Effects tutorial. I'm showing you how to get it to After Effects and get it back. But let's change the scale here of this image. I'm going to scale that down. Let's stretch it and make it look really weird just to show you. There, I've made a change. I'm going to go back to Premiere and notice the Premiere file has now been affected. However, I affect it in After Effects is going to be affected in Premiere. So I'm going to go back to After Effects, undo that, hit Command Z. Now I'm going to go back to Premiere and notice the file is back to normal. So however you affect that in After Effects, let's go into After Effects one more time. We're going to add a text file to this. Say hello, make that text file bigger. There we go. We've added this text to the video as its own layer on the composition down here. This is your composition that it's added to this project up here. So you now I've got that text on there. Go back to Premiere and boom, it's been added. So let's go back to After Effects, undo and get rid of the text. Now keep this in mind. As we keep that project open, this After Effects project open, if we send another clip over from Premiere, I right click on one other clip and we do replace with After Effects composition. Notice what it does here. In After Effects, it has added a new composition here. We have the, old, the first composition I sent in here, and now we have the next one here, which is composition number three here. It's added another composition, so I've got the original one that I sent over, and now I've got the new clip that I've sent over, all added to the same project file, to that temp project file. If we go back, you'll notice down here it says, now we have comp three, it is added to the temp project right down there. So now, same deal here. Whatever we do to affect this in After Effects will affect it in Premiere. Let's show one other function, then we'll show kind of a practical use of sending this over to After Effects. And by the way, if I want to send a clip over to After Effects and I actually close After Effects, I'm going to save the changes here and close it. And now if I send a new clip over, while After Effects is completely shut down, I'm going to replace with an After Effects composition. It will not add it to this temp project file, but it will ask to add it to a new project file. And I can name this. I can name this temp number two and save it. And now this has been saved into its own project file with a composition inside of its own project file. I'm going to close that out. Yeah, I'll sure, sure I'll save it. I'm going to undo and get rid of these compositions that I've created in After Effects. So just keep in mind that as you add files, as you add clips to After Effects, if you want them put into their own compositions, they will be put into the project that you currently have open if you have that project open. So if you want to keep them all in one project file, that's fine. Or if you want to keep them as separate project files to keep them organized, that's fine as well. It works either way. Now, keep in mind that you can also add, you can send several clips over at once. Say we're going to do some composite. I'm going to grab this file. I'm going to hold down Alt and drag it up over the top of this one. So we have two clips on top of each other. And let's slide this one over here. And notice that this will cut from here up to this clip as we play through this clip. There we go. But say we want to take these two clips here and we right click and we replace with an After Effects composition. I'm going to call this temp number three, just add in another file here, another project file. Notice what it does, it brings it in just like it was in Premiere. It brings down this clip and notice that this one doesn't cut in until the part where I had it cut in in Premiere. It brings the edit over with these two layers together. 
So now if I wish to do some sort of composite in here, shrink this file down, move it up here, and maybe do an animation to have that zip in or something like that. Let's do this. I'm going to transform. I'm going to do a position and another position here. Another position keyframe. Like I said, I'm not teaching necessarily After Effects as much as the round tripping here and how that functions. We're going to have that one zip in from the beginning and do it quickly. And we'll add a little bit of, let's see, there it zips in. A little more timing on that. There we go. It zips in. Let's add a little bit of lens flare to that. Let's add a little bit of motion blur to that. There's our motion blur. It's rendering. And there we go. There's our little effect that we've added. It zips in. Let's do a full render on this. I'm going to hit zero on my numpad and render the entire clip in the full quality. When that's through rendering, I go to Premiere and play this back. And it will use the rendered file to play back this clip. And here's my little file. It's using the rendered file from the After Effects to play this back. And it plays back pretty real time. And there that zips in. So I've added that composite there. And I've sent two clips over. So you can send multiple clips over at the same time and put them into the same composition. Undo that. Let's show one of the, uh, a nice little practical purpose for using this round tripping to After Effects and back to Premiere. This clip right here. Notice as this plays, there's some gaff tape that's on the floor there for a marker where the actor's supposed to stand. And say we want to take this over to After Effects and do a little bit of removal right there of that tape. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a couple different things. One thing I recommend when you send things over to After Effects, I kind of like to do this just to preserve the original uh, endpoint and outpoint of that clip. I'm going to grab this clip, I'm going to hold down Option and drag it up. Holding down Option or Alt on a PC and dragging that up will duplicate the clip and put a clip on top of the clip. Now so I leave the original alone down here, I'm going to right click on this one just in case I need to reference this for some reason. Right click on this one and replace this top one with the After Effects composition. Just a little trick I do to uh, maintain that clip below there. I'm going to name this one Carpet Replace and save. And here the clip is brought into After Effects. And now let's go ahead and fix this here. We're going to do a little replacement. First of all, I'm going to do a 3D camera track of this image here. The way I'm going to do that is go up here and arrange by uh, motion tracking. And I'm going to tell this to track the camera for this shot. It's going to do a 3D camera track of this image and get some motion tracking on the floor here. Let's do track camera. I'll be back in a minute when that's done. I'm going to look up here. I'm going to look up here and this is going to show how much longer is left. It's got uh, four frames so I'll come back when this is done. Now this is finished. It's done a 3D camera track of this clip here. If we play through it we'll see a whole bunch of markers here. Let's grab our track point size and make it larger so we can see the track points and there's some on the ground. Uh, there's a good on, one on the floor there. I've got a different episode on this if you want to look through it. I'm going to kind of do this really quick to show how to get it back to Premiere. I'm going to right click on this target down here and tell it to create a solid in camera. It's going to create a solid on the floor there. I'm going to turn that solid off right now. I'm going to go back to Premiere. I'm going to grab a still image of this right here to grab a carpet sample. I'm going to grab a little picture here. Browse. Save this into my file. Save this into my hard drive. Call this carpet. <laughs> Go back to After Effects, go back to my project, import that little still image, link there. And now I'm going to turn this track solid back on. Okay, I'm going to import this still image into Photoshop and do a quick crop of some carpet that I'm going to use to copy here. I'm going to move down here and grab a section of carpet. I'm going to move over and copy over that tape. That should be big enough there. I'm going to crop that out right there so i got a section that's big enough. There we go. So I've got this section of carpet. I'm going to hit Command S and save it. I've got that little section there to cut out and replace. I'm going to go into After Effects, import that JPEG. That I'm going to select the, the, the track solid. I'm going to grab my carpet sample, hold an option, or I drop it on the selected track solid and replace that with the carpet sample. We're going to zoom up to this. We're going to make the scale a little bit. We're going to move this over a little to the side and scale that a little larger there, make that bigger. We're going to transform this. Rotate it so it's at the same angle. And put it over the tape. Now it's over the tape. I'm going to double click on the carpet and just soften the edges. Put a mask around it and soften the edges. And now the carpet has been covered up. I've got this little carpet sample that's over the top of that track mar marker there. Now as I play, use the 3D camera tracking to mask out that 
carpet there that could be softened a little bit more, but that's basically the concept. So we've replaced that tape there. It's pretty decent. It needs to be like lowered and blended in a little bit more, but that's pretty much gone now. Now that tracking tape is gone. So now that I've done that effect, I can hit Command S. I've got all these layers in the composition. Hit Command S, and that will save, and I go back to Premiere, and boom, that's gone. Let's render this in After Effects. Hit zero to render my whole, on my numpad to render the whole thing. It's rendered. Command S to save. Go back to Premiere. And this file has now been replaced. And as it plays back, notice the tape is gone. So there's a nice little practical way of using After Effects. Just using the round tripping to After Effects. You send it to After Effects. And then, send, and then when you save that file, it'll update in Premiere and update your composition. So pretty simple. You can send over multiple clips if you want to, put them into one composition. You can do some pretty cool stuff, uh, sending it to After Effects and bringing it back to Premiere. If you have any questions, please post them, and I'll see you on the next episode.